from Russian monthly video cast. In these video casts, we'll discuss cultural and seasonal topics of Russia. So whether you're studying the language or just interested in the culture, we hope you'll enjoy the series. I'll be your host Heather, and I'm your co-host Elena. Is everyone ready? Давайте начнем! Well, it's October and the weather is getting kind of chilly over here. We're enjoying the fall foliage. Uh, Lena, can you tell us a little bit about what it's like in Russia these days? Well, Russia is very big, so it depends where you are. You know, in the south, mm -hmm. the weather doesn't change much. And uh, in the north, it's very, very cold. But where I'm from, in Moscow, it's also the leaves are changing color. Mm -hmm. So it's very beautiful. And people go out to the forest to see them. Okay. Yeah, you get the yellow leaves and the red and the green, and it's very, very nice. Russia is famous for the forest. Oh. And kids like to play with them. So when I was a kid, I also always played with the falling leaves. It's mm -hmm. a lot of fun, but it makes you a little dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, also in Russia, it is... Um, the season when the first snow falls okay so well in october in october yes wow well, it doesn't stay it will fall and then will probably melt down but if it does fall it's kind of heavy like here you can see <gasps> wow red square all covered in snow and it, this picture was taken in october yeah. wow that's yeah. that's really surprising for me i think where I'm from, we have first snow, maybe December. Oh, really? Yeah. No, it does fall in wow. October, the first snow. I see. And um, how about, you said in the south, the weather is kind of constant. Yeah. Is it, does it snow in the south? Well, you know, it depends where you are. And sometimes it snows a little, maybe closer to Georgian border or, mm. yeah, it will snow just a little, not okay. so much. Yeah, but and it's usually mild, it stays the same. Mm. And how about in the north? Do you have a summer there? Or is it always snowy? <laughs> the snow in the north, it's very, very short. Uh, oh, sorry, it's not the snow. The summer will oh, be okay. very short. <laughs> yeah, then the snow stays there all the time. Um, maybe in August you would have a short summer of okay. one month. Yeah. Wow, that's mm. really interesting to hear. Thank yeah. you. And it's very cold there. So. Oh. Mm. so Elena, it was interesting talking about snow in Russia. Um, can you tell me what kind of sports do you play in this in the winter? Well, well, why don't we talk about sports in general? Um, can you guess what are the five most popular sports? In Russia, mm, yeah. let's see. I guess I would guess hockey. Okay, that's one. That must be. Okay. Um, ice skating. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, drinking vodka. That's well. That's uh, <laughs> that's a national sport, but not a sport. Okay. 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 So I think. Yeah, I, but that was a good one. <laughs> I think I have to give up. I, I don't really gymnastics. Mm. Right. Okay. You got three. How about two more? Try. Um, um, I don't know. Golf? No, not golf. No, no. not golf. Not sumo. No, and definitely no. not sumo. Okay. I Although give up. it is popular <laughs> recently. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. But how about football? Soccer. Sorry. Oh, soccer. soccer no. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's really. Pressure. Okay. I really like soccer. Russian people play it. Um, and so what you said? Hockey, mm -hmm. figure skating. Mm -hmm. Did you say tennis? No, I did not tennis, say tennis. Come on, Sharapova is one of the main <gasps> Russian. Sharapova. Yeah, we have a picture of her. Here she is. Sharapova. <laughs> yeah, she's a very talented tennis player, and um, yeah, Russians love to play tennis and to watch tennis. Okay. And as you mentioned, gymnastics. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, so both kind of gymnastics, so artistic and rhythmic. Yeah, I okay. guess so. Mm. Mm. I don't really know the difference though. This with the hoops and the balls and the ribbon mm -hmm. is the rhythmic gymnastics. The rhythmic gymnastics. With um, the bar and the beam and the floor mm. is artistic. I, I guess both are popular. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we also have figure skating. Mm -hmm. uh, you said that one, yeah, right? Yeah, I did figure say skating, that one. Yeah, figure skating is very popular. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, do you know how to say tennis in Russian? No, please teach us. Well, it's very easy. We say tennis. <laughs> tennis, oh. <laughs> That's a, yeah. not a tough one. Okay. Mm, how about gymnastics? Gymnastics? <laughs> no, slightly different. Okay. Gymnastica. Gymnastica. Sportivne gymnastica. 
Спортивна е вълби спорт, е гимнастика. Спортивна е гимнастика. I see. How about soccer? Football. That's good. Football. 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 Okay. And hockey? I don't know. Hockey. 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 Yeah. Okay. Did we miss some? Ah, oh, and the figure skating. Figurne Catania. That's a little difficult one. Yeah, I can't roll my R's, so that's... <laughs> I'll teach you how okay. to do that later. Yeah. Figurne Catania. Okay. Mm. Wow, thank you. That was very interesting. I'd like to try some sports. Yeah, definitely. So today we talked about five most popular Russian sports. Do you remember what they are? Tennis, Figurne Catania, Hockey, Football, Sportivne Gymnastica. All right, so I hope you can remember those and go out and try some sports. And when you're tired, come inside and keep studying Russian. Until next time, this is Danya.